Okay, the first thing you want to do is put the snap ring, press your bearing onto the top shaft from the back side, opposite, otherwise they come from the front. This time you'll go from the back, put this little snapping in right here in the groove, snap it all the way in, and then we'll drop the top shaft in next. Okay, we've got the snap ring in place. We're going to drop the top shaft into the transmission like this. Get lined up. Put your, put your plate on. Bolt your plate in place. Only goes on one way. Once you get that done, we'll put the gears on next. Okay, yep. next step, we're going to put the top shaft, we're going to put the reduction housing on. Just like you always do, drop the disc brake in there. You gotta imagine this transmission would have the bottom shaft in place already and you'd have the deal where uh, this would go on the end of the spline. Obviously, we're just doing this as a mock-up to show you how to put the two-speed together and not to assemble the whole transmission. So, next thing we do, we'll drop the top, the reduction housing on. After reduction housing is on, you're gonna take the, the 10 pitch, the 10 pitch gear with 67 teeth that's got the bigger hole of the two. This gets just dropped on right on top of that bronze wishing. It's in place like that. Okay, you got the 10 pitch 67 tooth gear in. Next step is we're going to take this inner shifter ring. That's going to just drop over top of the splines like that. The next step you got to do is the shifter ring has got dovetail cuts opposite ways. So you need to line it up so the dovetail cut is with the gear. You just tie, if you figure out, you just take your fingernail and you can. See what side is the dovetail. The dovetail is on this side, so to make that work, you'll need the dovetail on this side so they can lock together when you shift it. And as it drives the transmission, so now they're locked in. Right that, they're only locked in there. The other way is just the two flats against there and it won't drive anything. Once you get that in place, you need to put the shift fork in next. Matter of fact, you probably should slip this over like this, then drop it in. That'll make it a little easier for you. Got that in place, that goes over in this location right here. Next step is we're gonna do the top gear. That's just gonna drop on right in place of that. Goes right there. It'll be locked in, something like that. Okay, we got that 12 pitch gear that's got 81 teeth on, that's on. Next thing we do is do the split collar. You need to have a little bit of in play in this thing so it has uh, some room to travel. Take a 10,000 feeler gauge, put underneath that gear, on top of that gear between that uh, split collar and just tighten your split collar down then. That will hold everything in place. Pull, your, pull that out. Next step is we're going to put the cover on. What you need to do is put your pinion in, the, install that two speed pinion in this in the aluminum piece you get from us into here and it will drop on into here. There's two little dial pins here that goes right here. Make sure you put some silicone rubber on here first. And what you want to do is you want to just drop this on and you got to kind of line this shifter up to the hole and drop it all together in one place. So I'll try to do it the first shot. I don't can guarantee it, but anything's possible. So once you line that hole up, it's all lined up. Just let this thing fall, fall down. Everything should line up. And then you might have to take a, a dead blow hammer and, and tap it. Here, it's seated on there all the way. Next thing I do now, we're going to do the shifter part. And that's just a pretty easy thing here. You just take that shifter lever, you got a little ring here, slip that over there, slip the, slip the screw into that, line it up to the hole, and then uh, just tighten it down, just snug it down, you don't need to be overly tight with it. Just put a little Loctite in it too when you put it down so it don't come back back off. But you can tell when you get down there, but you just up against that, up against that, uh, there, just kind of snug it, lock tight, hold it tight, and then you can be able to shift. You'll need to put your shifter detent on. Shifter detent, just a simple hairpin. You're going to lose it, you just get your hairpin. That just goes in the uh, deep slot, goes with the rippled, the rippled edge and the straight edge is on the bottom side. And it's got to kind of line up on here and slide right on. Just like so. That'll be your detent. Don't need a detent or shift lock to lock in place. Put your uh, bolts that come with it around here just tighten it down the only step you got to do after that is uh put the brake on okay the only got to do is put the brake lever on this is something we will send back it's a it's a core you send your reduction housing and your stock brake lever we send it back it's been cut off and a new hole been put in because it's got to clear this just put it gear like you do always with the pin there and the bolt in there and adjust it and however do to uh, uh you know apply your brake with a rod or whatever 
and uh, that's pretty much it.